What's up, family? I just got a quick question today. What brain have you been using? This is for my fellas. What brain have you been using? Is it, you know, this one or the other one? And you know which one I'm talking about. So look, what we're gonna talk about today is we need to start desexualizing women. We gotta shift our focus. We gotta start paying attention to other things besides their physical attributes, okay? Let's start recognizing them as individuals. You know, let's give them a little grace. Start recognizing them as individuals instead of like body. A lot of us, we recognize females just for, you know, how they look, what type of shape they have, how pretty they are, the color of their skin. Let's stop doing that. Let's start evaluating other stuff. Let's start evaluating their brain, their mindset, their maturity, their focus, their goals. Let's start rating them at that aspect in life. Don't get me wrong. Don't talk to anyone ugly. I'm not saying that. But let's just stop focusing on what the eye sees all the time. The reason I say that is because you can find yourself in a sticky situation. A very sticky situation. Imagine you got this baddie on the ground. Looks good. She got the BBL. Driving the Benz, Beamer, Maserati. Anything, you know? But then, you're not thinking about it. Let's say, for instance, you think, man, she's so fine. I got to do it. And then, next thing you know, something happened between y'all. A week later, you in a doctor. Doctor's office. What you think you there for? Because something just happened. So you got to think about that and just ask yourself, is it worth it? A lot of times it's not worth it. But a lot of times we could have shifted that and seen signs if we was thinking with this brain right here. If we was thinking with this brain right here. A lot of stuff is in front of us, but we just simply ignore it. We simply ignore red flags. We got to stop ignoring red flags. We got to start accepting what we see in front of us. Even if it's that fine girl, fine Instagram model who's, you know, not on your level. Y'all not vibrating at the same peak. Y'all don't see eye to eye. You got to start recognizing that and acting quick. Because what you do, you waste time, energy, money too. And then you can put yourself at risk health-wise. And you're just vulnerable. Like, why you need to be vulnerable with someone you don't even know their true intentions? But again, not saying everyone with a BBL, Instagram, bad, not saying they're bad. I'm just giving a little example of what could go wrong. That's something that could go wrong. Then let's say, for instance, if you sexualizing the woman and this thing, you know, she just got you running through all these loops. You devaluing yourself as a man. Let's say, for instance, she's telling you to do this, bend over backwards. Now, don't get me wrong. You can do it, do it. But let's say, for instance, she's telling you to do something that you know goes against yourself, goes against your morals and your ethics. But you do that thinking like, man, I, I need this. So I'm just going to do it. Man, that's not the way, man. You're losing yourself. Snap back to reality. Let this head get back in control. You're losing yourself. Don't lose yourself. Stay focused. That girl is still going to be there. Instead of sexualizing women, I feel like we just need to start living in our purpose. And we'll attract the women when you live in your purpose we will attract that woman you will attract that woman that you've been looking for this whole time she's just naturally going to come to you because you're in your purpose you're unbothered by everything that's going on around you you locked in you in that gym every day you punching that clock every day if you got kids you with your kids if you don't got kids you with your family like you just locked in at every aspect of life with no distractions, no room for interruption, you're hard to reach. 
you off the grid. That's something that, just think about it. If you're doing all those things and no one can keep up with you, that's someone that's probably going to be interested in you to see what you're doing. If you just come out here shining, muscles up, she's going to be like, man, what he been doing? I want to get in with him. Just come and get in with me. That's what she going to say. And that's what you're going to say, get in with me. Because she's going to think like, man, what he been doing this whole time to have him like that? whole time you just been living in your purpose you just been living in your purpose doing everything the right way the way you said you're gonna do you sticking to your goals you set out goals and you actually plan to act towards those goals you didn't say you were gonna do something next week you stop that wasn't you so we just gotta get back into that reality use this head Right here, not the other head. And then we just got to stay focused. It's easy to get distracted. And it's easy to get distracted by women. Beautiful women at that. It's beautiful women everywhere. So just think about that. If you're not focused and in your purpose, it's beautiful women everywhere. So you're going to always be distracted. You're going to always be off because you're not focused. So you got to stay focused at all times, man. Man, look. It's beautiful females everywhere, man. We got to stay focused. Just stay focused, fellas. It's hard. But just remember, it's a mind thing. Once you get this under control, you can do everything you want. Even leaving that BBL alone. Even if it requires you to walk away. Even if you had a chance to do something and you said no. Just think about that. You ever heard the saying, not all money, good money? Same thing. <laughs> not all is good. So you got to remember that. Not all is good. So sometimes you just got to walk away. Sometimes it's not for you. You got to kick it to the curb one time. We got to just stop thinking like, we want this woman and we got to do this. We got to stop doing that. All right, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with me, man. We're going to talk again. See y'all next time. I'm out.